2021 Ducati Monster. Costs, facts, and figures. The Scrambler range may be your entry ticket into the world of Ducati today, but it used to be different in the past. Years, or rather decades ago, it was the monster that introduced you to the magic of this legendary Italian motorcycle brand from Borgo Panigal. Want proof? Ever since the first monster came out in 1993, Ducati has shipped over 350,000 units of its naked Street Fighter around the globe. The monster, as Ducati puts it, is the biggest selling Ducati model of all time, and also the longest serving motorcycle in the range. Even though the monster is no longer the most affordable Ducati on the market today, many still consider it the perfect gateway motorcycle to enter the exotic world of Ducatis. Ducati is well aware of this fact, which is why they threw everything but the kitchen sink at developing the all-new 4th General 2021 Ducati Monster. Without any doubt, the 2021 Ducati Monster makes a compelling case. It's now available in the US, and here's everything that you need to know about the latest iteration of the Il Mostro. The Monster Reborn. The all-new Monster broke cover late in 2020. At the time of its launch, it took the world by total surprise. The biggest of which was that it walked away from family traditions. The Monster ditched the iconic trellis frame, a custom that was followed by all of its predecessors from 1992 to 2020, and moved to an aluminum front frame, which is inspired by the brand's flagship Panigal V4 Superbike. You may complain that with the exposed trellis frame missing, the monster no longer looks like a, er, monster. But the moment you begin to understand the engineering behind it, it all starts making a lot of sense. What's more, the very first monster in the 90s was kind of assembled using all the top shelf parts available with the existing Ducati racing bikes back then. The idea behind the monster has always been very simple. Make a fun to ride, lightweight, and nimble road bike for the enthusiasts, using the pedigree of Ducati's racing bikes. And if you think about it, that's exactly what they've done with the all-new monster. Bingo! Light is right with the new Ducati monster. Thanks to the new frame, the monster has achieved some serious weight savings. The whole frame weighs only 6.6 .6 pounds, making it a whopping 9.9 .9 pounds lighter than the previous trellis frame. The rims are 3.75 pounds lighter and the swing arm weighs 3.5 pounds less. The rear subframe's weight has been reduced by 4.2 pounds and overall, the monster is now 39.7 pounds lighter compared to the outgoing Monster 821. The dry weight of the monster stands at just 366 pounds, which is quite impressive. The chassis modifications make the monster more accessible to riders. In its standard form, the seat height is 32.3 inches. Short riders can lower the seat to 31.5 inches, for an extra $160, or opt for the bike lowering spring kit, $300, that reduces it to 30.5 inches. The new Monster is a classic case of form following function, but that's not to say that it looks boring. In fact, it's anything but that. The iconic round headlamp is back, but this time with full LED lights. There are integrated indicators on the bison back, shaped fuel tank, and the tail looks neat and tidy. It also gets stubby twin exhaust pipes. You can opt for a Termagnoni silencer with carbon fiber end tips for $1,900. A slip-on Termagnoni racing exhaust is also available for $2,600, but it's not approved for road usage. Ducati offers the Monster in three colors, Ducati Red, Dark Stealth with black wheels, and Aviator Gray with red wheels. The latter two will cost an extra $200. A change of heart. The all-new Monster is now powered by a 937cc Testostretta 11 degrees L twin engine that also does duty in the Supersport 950. This unit delivers 111 horsepower at 9,250 revolutions per minute along with a maximum torque of 68.7 pound-feet at 6,500 revolutions per minute. Compared to the 821, that's an increase of 2 horsepower and 5 pound-feet. The L-Twin Heart is mated to a 6-speed gearbox, which features a hydraulic clutch. However, you can go for clutch less shifts all day since the Monster is equipped with a quick shifter as standard. Road holding duties are carried out by non-adjustable 43mm upside-down front forks and a preload adjustable rear mono shock. Stopping force comes from dual 12.6-inch front discs, with radially mounted Brembo M4.324 piston caliper, 
and a 9.60 inch rear disc, with a two piston floating caliper. Ducati also says the steering angle has been increased to 36 degrees in the new Monster, plus 7 degrees from the previous 821, for better agility. In addition to that, the handlebar has also been pulled back by 2.75 inches, and the foot pegs are repositioned to give the rider a more upright but sporty stance while riding. The 2021 Ducati Monster is a tech fest. The electronics package on the new Monster packs cornering abs, traction control, and wheelie control. All of these can be adjusted to different levels of intervention. The bike is also equipped with launch control. Since it comes with a ride-by-wire throttle, Riders can choose between three riding modes, Sport, Urban, and Touring. Sport is the most aggressive mode, followed by Touring, while in Urban mode, the power output is limited to 75 horsepower. Last but not least, the new Monster is equipped with a beautiful 4.3-inch color TFT screen, which packs all the controls and features listed above. It can be hooked to your smartphone via Bluetooth using Ducati Multimedia System. However, all of that comes as an optional extra, and it's worth $280. 2021 Ducati Monster, Costs and Options The 2021 Ducati Monster is available in two variants, Monster and Monster Plus. The Monster Plus adds a fly screen and a pillion seat cover over the standard version, and nothing else. The standard Monster is priced at $11,995 and the Monster Plus retails for $12,995. A lot of optional extras and accessories are available. Some of them that we feel are worth spending extra money on include heated grips, $373, front dynamic indicator, $149, and anti-theft kit, $350. If you want your Monster, or Monster Plus, with the cool, Monster Pixel customization, option, shown in the picture above, it will cost you $600 extra.